everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing great today in this video i'm going to talk about database indexing like why do we need it what happens when we create a database index so i'm going to talk about all that so why do we even need indexes in database so we need it for basically faster search in the database a database can contain a million of entries and you want to search on the basis of a particular uh, key you can say that this should be equal to this if this should be greater than this so how do we find this entry fast so before going into database let's try to see what do we do when we have to do search faster search in an array so in, in an array if you have a, suppose you have to find a number you would do a sort normal o n search linear search but what if you have to do a faster than it so what you would do is you would do binary search so that would reduce the time to log in which is quite considerable now how do we apply the same approach to the database now in database the structure can be of any type so let's focus on uh, sql database so in an sql database the data is stored in the form of rows and columns so this is the one which the, this is the view which you see on the top layer now how is this view created like how is this data actually stored in the memory so in the memory there should be some data structure so like we code we we use data structures to store our variables or whatever data we have to store like int string whatever data we store we use some data structures so this database also will be stored in some kind of data structure right now what will be this data structure so this data structure is b plus trees so b plus trees uh, like you, you must have studied i would not go into detail about what b plus trees are so it can have any number of these branches now uh, whenever each database that you have each sql database which you have it has a primary key in it which is a unique key and mostly the search on that primary key is also fast so what happens when you create a database is that it sorts the values on the basis of that primary key and store it into the uh, b plus trees store it into the b plus trees so for example let's suppose a to d is like the i'm taking just simple keys so it is stored a to d is stored in this node then e to g in the other node and this further branches down and finally in the leaves we have the key key value and the corresponding value that is present that is stored in the memory so basically this would contain a pointer to the value which is stored so that's how you are able to fa search fast in a you are using a primary key so what you do you simply search it is it for the b plus c it is easier to locate where would the data be on the basis of the key that you have given it can locate either in this or either in this whatever it is there and it will finally find the data now what we what would happen when you create an index it would also have to form a similar structure like this but how would that happen in this existing b plus c so the answer is it creates another b plus tree instead of making some changes in the existing b plus tree so you have the main b plus tree which contains actually the data like for the key the value stored in the leaf node and then there are the index tree in this the index is created on the basis of the column that you have chosen and on the basis of that it creates the nodes and the complete tree and the basically the final key value pair here in this the key would be your index column which you have created and the value would actually point to the location in this database like which was the actual database b plus c which was created so this would not again make a copy of the data it would just store a pointer to the data which is stored now what happens when this database is sharded now most of the times we would need sharding because of the large amount of data that we have we would have to shard our data into multiple machines so now this sharding can be on the basis of various different things it can be on the basis of geolocations we do sharding what is sharding basically so sharding is basically you divide your data set into some chunks which do not interact with each other so you can do this on the basis of geolocations if your data is such that people from one location won't talk uh, do anything with the people in some other location or there is no relation between them so you can shard on the basis of that or there can be some other attributes also so this data is stored in different machines now how would you create an index on the data which is stored on different machines so for that what you would simply do you would simply create an index or uh, for each of the machine so there would be a b plus tree for each machine 
and indexing would be there on that particular column for that machine a separate tree and then a separate tree and between machines how would you switch you can simply decide on the base of the last value that is stored in that particular machine or that particular b plus tree so that's what happens in a index when you create uh, most of the NoSQL databases also follow a B plus tree st uh, structure internally and the indexes which are created in them they are also created in such a way only uh, now if you have to choose some other data structure to store your database you can choose that and accordingly when you create an index you would have to replicate like how would you provide a faster search for faster search generally like in array like I discussed we use sorting and then binary search similarly we would have to follow some similar principle in our database also because internally all of it is also stored in some kind of data format or data structure so I hope you like this video if you did press the like button and I'll see you in the next one.